Hi everybody, just want to talk about a bit of a heavy topic today. And this is about why bad things happen to good people or why certain people deal with a lot of extreme adversity in their lives. And there's multiple philosophies. Um, New Age philosophy is you are responsible for everything that happens in your life. And they take that to another level where you are responsible for all this stuff because you decided it before being born. Um, you've made agreements with spirits to be sexually assaulted or things like that. Um, this is also an older part of the Christian theology called predestination. Um, and it's, I understand it, I get it. It's very tactless when you're dealing with someone who has been sexually assaulted in their childhood and you're telling them they're responsible for it and for the trauma that has persisted throughout their life and for the repeated instances of sexual assault in their lives, which does tend to repeat. I have not been sexually assaulted, just putting that out there, but I have friends that have and I've had many conversations with them on this subject. And the people who tend to really embrace this concept are people who have not been sexually assaulted. And, you know, there's a better way of looking at it. And I've kind of done a breakdown of three concepts as to why these things happen and why these things repeat in your life and ways that you can change or shift that. For me personally, I deal with a lot of horrific stuff, not sexual assault, but um, emotional, psychological abuse during my childhood. I've witnessed a lot of really uh, insane accidents, um, like severed legs, watched my aunt die from cancer. No, literally watched her organs shut down and her take her last breath. Um, helped a mother at my child's old school uh, pass away from cancer as well. She was a mother of two kids. Uh, so I deal with a lot of horrific situations. There's even more where in 2017, I was hit in an Uber by a Maserati going 100 miles per hour. You know, thank God it was, uh, uh, it was a Mercedes that I was in. Um, both cars were totaled, but everybody survived. Thank goodness. Um, and then more recently had to get police involved with the situation that I was dealing with as well, which is now in the courts. So I get it. I deal with a lot of extreme situations that most people don't. Uh, so with the most recent interaction, with discussions with friends who have dealt with sexual assault, these things are factors that play a part if you are um, in that niche, if you are in a different religious orientation than, you know, the New Age philosophy or Christianity. I have these three, three things, these three concepts that can help you work through this and uh, make better things happen in your life or make better choices without dealing with the trauma aspect of it and having that kind of thrown on your plate with uh, guilt or um, self-depreciation. So first factor is the attraction factor. Like manifestation, there are certain behaviors that we do that can make people respond to us in hostility. So let's say if I'm walking around and I'm fuming about something, someone's going to definitely get angry at me too, because that's what I'm giving off. I'm either giving off hormones that people pick up on, like pheromones. Pheromones affect you whether you know it or not, and you definitely can't smell or see them. So that's a lot of what these behavior patterns or even our thoughts or feelings are making our bodies do things that we might not be aware of. So on the attraction factor, a really good analogy for this is when a cop pulls you over and you feel anxious and you're just sitting there just feeling anxiety. 
And then suddenly you pull down your window and you're still anxious and the cop's getting hostile with you. And you're like, why is he getting hostile with me? Why is he asking me to step out of the car? Because he's picking up on the fact that you are feeling like you are in danger. The officer then picks up danger from you. The officer (laughs) thinks that now he's in danger of being harmed by you. So he's reacting off of your energy, which actually is hormones that you are giving off and behavior patterns that you are giving off that are saying danger. A lot of times, if you have pets, they can pick up when you are sad and they will react differently to you. Same thing. We can do that with each other too. Next thing is perception. So this is how you see or perceive things to be, which may or may not be true. You can actually shift a lot in what happens to you through your perception because it's how you accept, receive, and take it. So for example, if you've watched my previous video of how I made a bad day an okay day, um, I get hit on that day (laughs) and instead of being my normal angsty, being like, why is this dude coming up to me? Why is he trying to hit on me? I don't want to hear this stuff. I decided to receive it. I decided to receive the compliments and I decided not to take offense to it. And in that exchange, I regarded this individual tactfully, kindly, And with a measure of regard by saying, I'll pass, which doesn't incite hostile action. So that person feels heard. They feel like, you know, that compliment that they are making an effort to give me has been received. And I did receive it. And I received all of the beauty in that moment when I made the choice to do that. So... Perception is a huge choice that we do have that we can make often. Number three, being the change that you want to see in the world. And this reveals your purpose. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this, I've been through a lot of things, a lot of horrific things. Um, My divorce was one of them where I just really wish that I had someone to emotionally support me. Like, I wish that I had someone to hold me while I cried throughout that process. And I didn't get it. I had to show up and be that person for myself. And that was tough. But I now turned around to where I can be that person for others because I know that I'm strong enough to be there for myself. And I know that I've wanted this for myself. And I know that there's others out there that need this and aren't getting it. And, you know, I've even put it to practice, which is what I'm doing right now. You know, along those lines as well, being responsible for your actions is the act of learning from these circumstances and enacting or implementing changes in your life. The greatest gift that you can give yourself is going back and looking at these circumstances and going, I'm going to change this. I'm going to be the one to help others through this because I've gotten through this. And not many people can really say that. Not many people can do it on their own and not many people want to do it on their own. So take this for what it is. Really empower yourself through these things. It's not, you know, to take yourself down, but really regard these three factors of the attraction factor, perception, and being the change, revealing your purpose. And if you need help with this, if you need any emotional support, I'm here for you guys. I'm offering a free first session to see if we're a good fit and if we can move forward on up-leveling you into your life and into who you need to be. Love you guys. Have a good one.